And we are going to, the first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is what with our pencil? Pencil. Draw your name. Thank you. Good job, Nellie. You're going to write your name. Say it with me. Hey, hey, write your name. Hey, hey, what's your name? name? Oh, my gosh. Mrs. Hat. And I'm, I'm writing my room number. What's my room number? What's your room number? Okay. That's the back. And then I flip it over. So we're going to use our pencil and plan out what we are painting. It's going to make a painted flower for Taylor. Then we're going to cut our flowers out and put our flowers in a big, giant vase. So the first thing you're going to do is on your paper, you need to plan it out. Say, plan it out. So we're going to draw a big, giant plus sign with our um, with our pencil. What we're going to do is find the middle where our two lines cross. The middle of the plus sign is where the middle of our flower is going to be. What circle is usually the, or what circle? I just said it. What shape is usually the middle of a flower? Circle. All right, give me one of these up so you're going to say, I accidentally said the answer. So it's a circle. So you can make a little circle or you can make a big circle. I think I'm going to make a big circle this time. And then that's the middle of our flower. Now, hey, we want our flowers to be big so she has a giant vase of flowers. So now I'm going to make my petals and I'm going to make a petal on each of my four sides. So um, I'm going to make sure it's big by going up and around the line that I drew. Do you guys see that? So I'm going up and around. Then I can turn my paper and go up and around the other line I drew. And then, hey, I don't know if you've seen a real flower, but a real flower is not perfect. So if these are not perfect, that's okay. Then, hey, if you want to make your petals different, if you want yours to be like really big and round, you can make them big and round. If you want them to be pointy at the top, you can do that. My one I made yesterday is pointy at the top. So you can see my edges are pointy. So, so depending on how you draw your petals, it'll it look so different. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, hey, this is a guide. Can you say guide? Guide. So we are going to be, this can look kind of messy because we're going to paint over top of it. So now, do you guys see how there's space in between? Yeah. Let's draw another line that goes through the space. And then another one that goes through this space. And now we can add more puddles. So now I'm going to draw one maybe that bumps into this one and this one. And then maybe one bumps into this one and this one. And then this one and this one. And then this and this one. And now I have a big round flower that's nice and it fills my whole paper. What? If you want to be crazy, like I was being crazy, I added another one. So you could technically add another one behind these if you wanted to do that, but you don't have to. All right, once you have your plan, you're ready. You're going to share one of these at your table. So that means it needs to stay in the middle. And it's going to be a little messy because we used them yesterday. So that's kind of what it's going to look like, and that's fine. You're going to – you don't need water yet because you're just going to start with one color for the petals. This is the base color. Can you say base color? Base color. That means – this is not finished today. It doesn't need to look perfect. We're just going to pick the color we want our flower to be. And depending, if you've seen flowers, some of them are lots of different colors. So you could do like maybe a, like every other one, or maybe it's a little bit red at the bottom, but then blue at the top. I'm okay with that, but pick one color first. So I'm going to get my paintbrush from over at my desk. Looks good. I'm going to take the pink and look at that. Say it with me. A tidbit on the bristles. A tidbit on the bristles. So when I have a tidbit on the bristles, it's not touching the metal. If I have a big glob, then my paper is going to look like a big glob. Also, if I have it all over the metal, then the paint gets stuck in there, and then it's hard to clean. And then when you're using green later, there's going to be pink inside your green. So try not to get any on them though. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our paintbrush gently like a ballerina and we're going to turn and it's okay if it looks a little bit see-through you can actually turn your paper too and you can fill it in and you guys see how i'm going back and forth you might have to go back and forth to fill it in a little bit better and i use the side hey if you have a paintbrush like me that's flat if you use the flat side you get you can paint a big section like this at a time oh, yeah. if you turn it sideways look how skinny that is so let me show you if you turn it sideways that's a good way to get a point see how it's pointy so i can turn it sideways and make it pointy or i can turn it flat and make it thick like that. then i can go back in and fill it in so fill it in fill it in hey if your paint brush looks like this it's still not 
not so bad. But now look at it. Oh my gosh. That is a thirsty, thirsty paintbrush. What do I need to do? Get a tip on the bristles again. All right. So get a little bit more paint. Thank you guys. And then fill it back in. So if you need to go over it again, go ahead. You're going to keep going around all of your paint, your petals. Keep. Hey, remember, you can turn your paper to help you out. Oh, I got a thirsty paintbrush again. So I'm going to get a little bit more on the bristles. A tip it on the bristles. Do you want me to show you how to add a different color if you want a little bit of a different color? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm done with my pink. So I can go to the sink and I can get a little cup of water from the sink. Hey, if your paint looks like, or your water looks like this, go dump it out and get new water. But I'm just going to keep going so you can see what happens. So I'm going to clean my paintbrush off. Do you see how I'm tickling the bottom, but I'm not splashing everywhere? Just tickle the bottom, but don't splash everywhere. And then you can swoop, say swoop. Just to get a little bit of that extra off. You can also dry it off on your messy mat if you need to. Just pat, 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 dry. All right, so let's say I want a little bit of purple. Okay, look, I want the tiniest bit ever on there. So I barely touch the purple. And then I can add it a little bit at the bottom. Hey, I'm not going to pick a random color. I need to pick a color that's not going to turn brown. It looks beautiful. So I'm going to get a tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. See how I ran out? There's a tiny bit more. Then, once all the paint, once my paintbrush is dry, I can dry it off some more, and then I can blend it together a little bit. So look, I can blend it to make it a little bit purple at the bottom. And make it real life. It looks weird. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to do the middle. So now I'm going to clean my brush. Uh oh, and this is going to be yellow, and my paintbrush it might be dirty, so I might have to get I might have to get new water because it's pretty gross. But let's see how it does. So, oh no, look, my, my yellow is all messed up. Here's what you do. Take that yucky part ugh, and rub that on the messy mat. Get rid of that. All right, now let's try again. Clean off the Your brush. Picture. That's okay. I'm going to cut this out later anyway. I'm sorry. All right, so, hey, some colors are transparent. That means you can see through them. Actually, that's not so bad. So look what happens. You can kind of see through it. So if you can kind of see through it, you can let it dry for a second, and then you can get some more. And go over it again. Hey, I think I'm done. Be careful. Your colors will start blending if you do it too much. So a good artist knows when to stop. That's my base. So even if I'm not, even if I don't think it looks perfect, I'm going to go ahead and stop. Make sure my name is on it. Put it on the drying rack. Put my paintbrush in the hot tub. Where's the hot tub, guys? Right here. In the sink. And then I can put my messy mat away and wipe off the table. Next time we come in, we will finish these and make them even more awesome. Okay?